I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how my upcoming instructional is formatted. It's called the the Guard Passing Anthology Half Guard. Um, so first of all, this will be the first of three sets based on the Half Guard. Each will be incredibly in depth. Uh, so this one's based on pass forcing the Half Guard. So how do you get into the Half Guard and then pass through that? The second set will be focused around uh, a mid-range passing strategy. How do we really set up our passes from the mid-range uh, to either go through or under and around the legs uh, as well as how to set up the body lock. Uh, there will be some body lock in this particular current one um, although most of my setups for the body lock are from the mid-range. Uh, and the third series will be focused on under and around the legs passing and really in depth on how we link these particular types of uh, under and around the legs passes together. Alright so this current uh, one that I have now sent off to BJJ Phonetics. Let me just quickly go through uh, how it's laid out. So first of all, first chapter, overview and concepts. I basically go through all of the, uh, an overview of how everything is set up and uh, what you need to know for this particular series uh, and a bunch of concepts that I think alone can be enough for you to be a really good uh, person at passing the, the half guard. After that, our second chapter is then focused on forcing the half guard. So different ways that I really try to force my way into the half guard so we can implement the passes that are gonna be uh, outlined in this particular series. The third, then, then we basically start to work backwards from best case scenario, like we're, we're outside the legs and we need to consolidate the pass, right back through like uh, the layers of the half guard and, and making it a little bit more difficult. So uh, we start out, we go through how to consolidate the pass, how to deal, each chapter is going to go through like how to deal with common problems that you're going to encounter, the concepts that you need to know for that particular position um, and the problem solving that you need to do, so some troubleshooting in there um, and then at the end we always have something w that we call linking the techniques which just kind of like puts through a real strategy for the position so when this happens we go here, it gives you a good overview of the of the position after that we're going, cr so then, as I said we're working back, then it's cross knee through, so they've just got your 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 foot trapped, your knees free here, same with the three quarter mount which is the next chapter and also the near side knee through position as well, so in each case your knees free and you're trying to free your your foot, um, or actually in the near side knee through it's slightly different because that's your other leg is in the half guard but your near side knee through is actually preventing them from locking their legs together well. Then we go through the smash pass, which is another really good uh, finishing position uh, for for half guard passing, as well as other types of uh, guard passing then lead to the smash pass as well. Then into, I've called it half guard proper, but that's basically your standard half guard. So before they've got a knee shield or anything, we're in the, the half guard, you're working for your underhook, they're often working for, for their underhook. Um, and you can be, you know, we can work different strategies from, for example, the far side underhook, the near side underhook could go through a bunch of different strategies for them and how to deal with common problems. Uh, what if you can't get any upper body control? How do you approach it? What are the common problems you run into? And of course, linking the techniques. Uh, I'll go over a section on dealing with the lockdown. The half butterfly guard, which is obviously a common one people are using these days, particularly to enter for leg lock attacks. So how do we deal with that and pass through there? I think it's a really good position to pass from on top actually. The switch base half guards are really common, again, especially someone starts playing the underhook, we often will switch our base um, or to prevent their bottom leg from coming back in and we can work our passes from there. We've got a section on defending their underhook, so when this person gets the underhook on you, how do you actually recover and get back? So I think that's one thing that I try to do a bit different to a lot of instructionals in that I don't just show the offensive technique, like how do I do a knee through pass, but also how do I deal with when they get their grips they want, how do I force it back into to playing my game? Um, and that's a pretty big chapter there. We have reverse half guard as well. We have deep half guard. Now each of these chapters are probably roughly around 45 minutes long. So actually in total the, uh, the instructional is just over 12 hours. I know it's a lot but it's really well set out and it's really easy, easy to navigate given the, the, the um, technique list that I've got here. So you should be able to find exactly what you want quite quickly. Um, and I think it's I think it works really well. Chapter 15, I try to link like how do all these positions link together that we've just covered, and then the last chapter, chapter 16, I've got some narrated rolling, so where you get to see me really trying to implement this half guard passing against 
uh, people with resistance. Anyway, I hope you enjoy.